Thank you very much for being here and for the nice introduction. Um, let's start. Uh, so we will, um, Evyatao, myself, and Dr. Evan Cohen here are in the same group of uh, uh, this project at the catalog of the Hebrew sounds together with Inbar Struhl, who is not here today with us. So our goal is to create an ever-growing database using the infrastructure we lay out we, and, we which, and we will elaborate on this in our talk. Our vision is to preserve the sounds of modern Hebrew as an important part of our cultural heritage. In addition, our project will allow access to these sounds for phonetic and phonological um, uh, research. One moment, how do I? One more. Thank you. And uh, we will do so with collecting the sounds of Hebrew at utterance, word, and phoneme level. So this presentation uh, is focused on the pipeline we have developed and on two main tools we have developed for it. The first is semi-automated Hebrew sound parser, which labels the entire text. And the second is the database platform, which allows access to the analysis. Eviatar will take the floor from here. So um, this pipeline describes the process of adding new sounds to the database, to the phonetic database. So the first stage would be taking the sound files. It may be also video containing sound and transcribing the text. Uh, there are some uh, free platforms like Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud that do it uh, freely. And the output is usually uh, Hebrew, modern Hebrew script. The problem is that modern Hebrew script is not phonetic. There are many, many uh, homographs. So we need to use the Hebrew diacritics, which are usually uh, not being used in modern Hebrew, for making the script phonetic. Uh, for this purpose, there are some free tools. One of them is uh, Dicta. Uh, it's a vowelizer. It takes Hebrew script and vowelizes, vowelizes the, uh, the, the script, so it adds the um, diacritics, the, the diacritics of the vowels, so, uh, so the Hebrew becomes phonetic. From this stage, uh, there is a converter, which we have written a few years ago, for taking this Hebrew vowelized script and make it uh, convert it to IPA, uh, to the standard phonetic uh, alphabet. Now, having the sound files from, uh, on one hand and having the uh, IPA representation of the, of the text in the other hand, we now need to align, to align the, the text to the sound. So we use Prat. Prat, Prat is a, a known software for phonetic, uh, for acoustic analysis, and it, it's expandable. So we use this plugin called Easy Align, which we have expanded for supporting IPA. And using Easy Align, we can easily divide the sound to the levels which Verd uh, mentioned before, utterances, words, syllables, uh, segments. And this data can be exported to our uh, phonetic database. So um, let's see an example. Um, yeah. Just a second. Okay. So um, we have here uh, two corpuses. Um, the main corpus is called Map Mission, and we can see sessions that were uploaded. You can see each session uh, the the length, and we can enter uh, the first session, and we can see the utterances ordered in in a serial order. If we expand the first uh, utterance, we can see the division to, to words. And for each word, we can see uh, the phonemes, the segments. For each segment, we can see the phonetic data, the uh, formants, the pitch, uh, and we can even uh, listen at each level. Uh, but most researchers would like to, uh, to, to make a search, to, to, to filter uh, phonological environments. So for this purpose, we have uh, developed uh, this filter. You can define a sequence of up to uh, seven segments uh, that, ser that searches the, uh, the database for uh, the desired sequence. So we have prepared this sequence of uh, three segments. The first one would be 
alveolar plosive uh, consonant, which may be D or T. Uh, the second one, we have defined a specific vowel, A. And for the third one, we have defined uh, a nasal consonant, uh, which in Hebrew at least may be M or N. So um, if we uh, run this search, uh, we get 12 results. And for each result, you can see um, the uh, pattern in the word um, context. Uh, and again, for each, uh, for each phoneme, for each segment, you can see the uh, phonetic data, and you can see the utterance context of the, of the uh, word. Um, I guess that some researchers would like to export this data uh, for further research so, so you can um, select desired um, instances from the results, filter it, and then you can export it to a CSV file, um, again, for, for further research. Um, Verd. So, to conclude, uh, we bring here to the forefront a somewhat neglected cultural heritage unit, the spoken sounds of Hebrew, because we are mainly talking here in DH on text, but this is spoken language and spoken sounds. Uh, our study will preserve the voices of the people who revived the language over a century ago and of those who use the language to these days, like us. Our study catalogs this data systematically, organizing, documenting, and making this data accessible for researchers. The data are represented on three levels of a linguistic unit, utterances, words, and phoneme, and their context. And we now, um, along with Eliezer Ben Yehuda in the picture, the reviver of modern Hebrew, we thank you very much.